and welcome back to another video. So guys, what are we going to be doing today? Well, if you hadn't guessed by the title of the video, we're going to be looking at the Enslavers. Now, Enslavers are a really, really cool little race uh, in uh, 40k. Now, they're quite, not quite known. There's very little information on them. There's also very, very little uh, images of them as to what they look like. Uh, and there's also no models made by Games Workshop, to my knowledge. Um, but anyway, the Enslavers are warp entities. Um, they're not demons. Uh, demons are reflections. They are echoes of of um, Psyche's emotions and just the psychic um, reflection of how, how the uh, sentient races um, reflect in the warp and stuff like that. Hence, you've got your like, uh, demon, you know, uh, corn demons uh, slash zinch, uh, Nurgle, that kind of stuff. They're all reflections of our psyche. Now, uh, warp entities are creatures which live within the warp. They're not demons, so they don't suffer from demonic instability. Uh, I.e., they can be killed for good. They have a physical presence. Um, so, uh, to talk about the Enslavers further, you've got to go back to the War in Heaven between the Catan, the Old Ones, and the Necrons. Uh, basically, uh, the Old Ones engineered all races currently, uh, maybe not barring the Tyranids, but that is up for debate. But anyway, they engineered all races to be psychically attuned to the warp. Um, now, what this did, this caused a massive disturbance within the Immaterium, and um, it caused the somewhat peaceful um, creatures of the warp to come through to real space, with all this, you know, latent psychic potential out there. Now, it's up for debate, again, whether or not the Enslavers were peaceful or not prior to this warp disturbance, but again, like I say, it's up for debate. No one really knows. But what the Enslavers do, the Enslavers come through the warp, they come through psychers, and they use the psychers to basically craft portals so more of their kind can come through and they basically enslave the minds of lesser creatures and lesser beings and lesser races in order to feed off them and just to allow their race to basically come through and spread like a plague. Now this enslaver plague is basically what caused the Old Ones and the Catan to basically go, okay, yeah, we're going. Um, the Catan and the Old Ones basically were exhausted from fighting each other. The Old Ones more so than the Catan. The Catan basically going, oh shit, these Enslavers are coming through, we can't fight them, they're warp entities, they're using stuff that we can't control. So they fucked off and the Old Ones were like, oh shit, our creations have kind of turned against us, let's fuck off as well. Uh, so they did. Now, the Enslavers basically took over most of the entire universe um, uh, just after the War in Heaven, and they spread like a plague until there was no, well, no, no creatures really worthy of them to feed upon, and then they kind of went back to the warp and kind of, you know, just fizzled out and went away. Now, in the 41st millennium, there was a couple, of, there have been a couple of Enslaver incursions and stuff like that, but not really many. Uh, a couple of planets, you know, but, you know, the Inquisition tend to uh, get there and, and, and wipe them out as soon as they appear. Uh, however, this is also a reason why um, human psychers in the 41st millennium are so controlled and they're so monitored, because like I said, an untrained mind can fall prey to the enslavers and just they can just come through in massive, massive numbers. Uh, but anyway guys, uh, I've rambled on a little bit too long about the enslavers, so this is what I have done. This is my own rendition of what I think an enslaver would look like in the 41st millennium. Now as I said before, there's no official models, and there's only ever been uh, one small set of rules in the uh, in White Dwarf and stuff for enslavers. And they were very, very overpowered. Uh, they essentially can take control of an entire army in the rules. Um, however, for um, my project that I'm about to embark on, uh, I'm going to be using these guys and using the rules for Zonothropes, because they fit the profile pretty well. Um, in regards to the physical appearance, not much is described. There's maybe three uh, images of enslavers that are worth looking at. However, they are all described as being kind of spherical, you know, kind of like a ball sack with tentacles. Uh, and they all kind of had a, a lot of tentacles coming down. Um, and, you know, the later stuff says they have a kind of arachnoid, an arachnid-like face, such as what I've tried to go for here. Now, this is entirely made out of green stuff. And if you guys would like, I'll actually do a video on how to uh, make these guys, because they're pretty easy, actually, once 
once you um, get the, to grips with them. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and I intend on making quite a few of these, and I intend on making one big one and counting it as like a, a squad of three Zonithrobes and have a huge, huge enslaver like, you know, uh, Master or something like that. Um, but anyway, the reasons for me wanting to do enslavers is because they're really, really interesting. Because they can enslave pretty much the minds of any race, barring the likes of Necrons because they're mechanical. Now they might possibly have a hard time kind of enslaving um, uh, the minds of uh, any Mechanicum, uh, you know, kind of um, uh, tech priests and stuff, because of the, you know, the um, robotic and computerised portions of their brains. Um, so they were the only two races that might not be able to succumb to them. Maybe Orcs as well. Orcs possibly not, because uh, Orcs don't fall victim to Chaos, which are, you know, they, they use the warp and stuff like that. They use uh, the Immaterium. So um, they might not be able to do Orcs, but Either way, it gives me a great scope for using the Unbound rules, for using some crazy, crazy army combinations. I mean, I can get in some stuff like some Tyranids fighting alongside some Ogrins fighting alongside some Tau, which are then fighting alongside some Grey Knight Space Marines. It really, really is cool. Yes, guys, enslavers have enslaved the minds of Grey Knights. You didn't think that was possible, but it is. Like I say, they can pretty much take over anything that they want. Um, and they just, it's just really, really cool to have them, you know, in the 41st millennium. And like I said, nobody, to my mind, has actually made a proper enslaver model. There's been stuff used for enslavers, but I've never seen anyone scratch build an enslaver such to the extent that I have done here. Um, let's just zoom into this guy a little bit. I, I was really, really, I, I was literally just messing around. Actually, no, guys, I've suffered from a bit of burnout recently, and this was just a really, really nice exercise um, just to get my sculpt in back on point and just to experiment really with some other techniques like I've used some different techniques on this um, kind of ball sack looking area here and um, yeah it was just really really nice to do um, I'm gonna have another video of this um, like I say soon uh, painted up but I just thought I'd show you guys the initial uh, products of my labors what I've done this maybe took me about a day uh, to do we split that into two um, allowing for drying time and whatnot but it was really really cool uh, but yeah guys um, please 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 let me know what you think of this idea let me know what you think of this miniature that I've made uh, I think it's the first time I've made a proper miniature for myself solely out of green stuff and the cool thing is because obviously you know they're, they're warp entities and stuff they can be slightly different each time so I might make a couple of different variants of this of this fellow here um, also, uh, one of the things I've noticed that I, uh, I want to point out is how this like the tube here. I was kind of in my mind. Um, you guys remember the um, Starship Troopers episode? Well, the episode, the original Starship Troopers movie with the brain bug. It kind of um, gave me vibes of that with the sucker thing here. So uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. Um, the face actually took me a little while to do as well because I wasn't happy with how it looked. I kind of. Um, the mouth just looked a bit silly and the eye and stuff wasn't quite right. In fact, let's just zoom in on the face a little bit here for you guys. And, but I kind of gave it like a vagina mouth with um, some uh, arachnid looking mandibles and stuff. And the eyes and stuff were really, really interesting to do as well because this, it, like some of the fluff says that they have one singular eye. Some say they have like loads of eyes and it's really, really difficult to gauge from the very, very vague information that's out there. Um, but yeah, so really really fun to make um, i'm gonna leave it there guys please let me know what you think in the comments in the doobly doo down below uh, don't forget to like favorite and subscribe if you've not seen this before and also don't forget to check out the facebook group because you'll get little sneak peeks of stuff like this what i'm doing away from camera um so guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys again see you now and goodbye